Hello to all my beautiful brothers and sisters in Christ. Glory and honor and praise to the Most High. I just wanted to come on here and share with you what the Lord has revealed to me about makeup and how he got me to stop using it and my history of makeup. So I started wearing makeup when I was around 15, like my freshman year in high school. I started with like, you know, lipstick and eyeliner and then it increased and it progressed to full-blown foundation eyelashes contouring and sculpting out my face and you know just all of this madness so as I was seeking the Lord I wanted to know like because I've heard other testimonies and other sisters in Christ talk about how the Lord told them that they shouldn't wear makeup anymore and it's tied to the Jezebel spirit so I wanted to know for myself so I asked the Lord if it was true to confirm it to me and to show me and I also asked him to turn my heart against it if he did not want me to wear it just let me get tired of it just make me tired and annoyed you know just turn me against it so the Lord did not waste any time he did just that I was watching a YouTube tutorial one day and this lady was doing her makeup she was doing her eyeshadow and she was using this palette and one of the names of the colors in the palette was Jezebel I saw it I'm like wow Lord wow okay so then I knew that that's what he wanted me to do and at that time I was in school I was I wouldn't really say I would take it seriously I was taking it seriously I wasn't taking it seriously I would do it just because of the money when I was in college and um, the girls, they would come to me and ask me to do their makeup and I was good at it too. So they would always tell me like, oh, can you do my makeup? I love your makeup. Can you do my hair? Because I was wearing hair weave also. So I would just do it as my little side hustle, you know, get my little money and whatnot. So I was planning to actually take it seriously at the beginning of this year because I was just, you know, tired of just, you know, I just wanted to do something. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, how is this contributing to the kingdom? How is this promoting Christ? How is this saving souls? What am I doing to help out? You know, like, how is makeup helping out the kingdom of God? Like, how is this helping? So I went back and forth, back and forth, and I could honestly feel the forces just fighting against each other for me to go one way or the other. So... At the beginning of this year, I just, I just surrendered after all these confirmations and after everything the Lord has been working within me because he actually did help me to get tired of it. Like he made me so tired of it. I noticed that I would go days without wearing makeup because I used to do my makeup for class and whatnot. I would notice I would just get annoyed like, oh, I got to wake up extra early now just to do my makeup. So I just started to just cut that out. I would get more sleep, you know. And I just began to just get annoyed with it. Like, do I really need this? Like, I just, I was so fed up. I was so frustrated. I, and I know it's the Lord that, it was the Lord that caused that to happen. Because that's what I asked him to do if he didn't want me to wear it anymore. So it was clear that he did not want me to wear it at all. And the weave too. I would, I don't know, I, I saw this video about how like people would sacrifice their hair they would shave off their their head their hair on the head and sacrifice it to different gods and idols and stuff like that and then they'd sell it to you call it another name Malaysian Brazilian you know like when it's all the same thing so that right there got me wondering and and I was just tired of it I just knew it was not of God I just knew that this is not what the Lord wanted me to do he does not want me to do all of this to my face you know just you know, this is not who I am. I didn't even look like myself. And I'm going to leave some pictures at the end of this to show you guys what I look like before. <sighs> so I encourage you, seek the Lord for yourself. Get confirmation for yourself. Because I I heard of the sisters in Christ saying it, but it wasn't, it wasn't penetrating. It wasn't enough for me to completely let go. Like for me to completely throw away over $1,000 of, of, of hair and makeup. I needed the Lord to do that, and that's exactly what he did. He made it clear to me. He made it known to me, and he told me before that 
if I would have went into that industry that I would not have made it back out. And I believe that with all my heart because even before he told that to me, I felt it like, I felt like if I'm gonna do this, they're just gonna, the industry would swallow me and just eat me up and spit me out and destroy me and I would lose myself, you know? So, glory be to God, he is so good. He is so good. He is so good. All of this happened so quickly too. He is so good. And on time, God, he is on time all the time. I just thank him. I just want to encourage you because he's not happy. He's not pleased at all. He is not pleased. Like, why would I, I don't know? It's just and you have preachers and pastors preaching about this stuff, saying that it's OK to wear makeup. And no, it's not. It's demonic. It's witchcraft. It's not of God. God is not pleased with this. I'm sure people in heaven are not caking their face up with makeup, you know? And I noticed when I, I threw away all my makeup, I threw away my weave, that I just started to to get annoyed with a lot of um, earrings and jewelry and watches and rings. And just I just started to just get annoyed with it. My heart wasn't with that stuff anymore like my heart was against it i just didn't have those same desires because i used to wear like excessive chains and just jewelry and so i just felt i just i just stopped doing that once i let go of the the, the makeup and a weave all of that other stuff fell off of me i started dressing differently and just it just oh he changed my heart he changed my heart oh man seek him seek him seek him because that makeup and this stuff is something that he's really serious about he wants all his daughters to stop wearing this stuff it is not like him he is not pleased at all no not just a little bit of foundation here to cover up you better own your dark spots your circles your acne scars anything own it own it don't be ashamed don't put this witchcraft on your face just to cover up a couple blemishes like god is not looking at that you, you're still beautiful to god you're still beautiful to god don't try to impress anybody. Don't try to impress no man. A man, if a man is truly of God, he will accept you flaws and all. He will see you the way Christ sees you. Don't, don't, mm -mm, don't compromise. Cause this stuff is not, it's not something to be played with. This is not, it's demonic. And as soon as I threw away all my makeup, Jezebel come with her little witchcraft tactics trying to get me to put it back on. Seriously, like I'd be tormented thinking about this stuff having dreams of me putting it back on like it's just been crazy trying to get me to give in and i said nope i'm not doing it it's not worth it it's not worth it there's no way that i could rebel against the lord and being disobedient to him like no mm -mm. so yeah i just want to share that with you seek the lord ladies seek the lord He's not playing. He's not happy at all with this stuff. Seek him. I guarantee you he will waste no time showing you this stuff. He will waste no time showing you this stuff. That's how serious he is about it. He's not playing games anymore. So, yeah, I'm going to leave a couple pictures to show you guys what I looked like before. And here I am now. I was a mess. I was a, a wreck. He cleaned me up, transformed me completely. So I love you guys. Seek him. Be blessed. Be blessed. Don't compromise. I love you all. God bless you. Bye-bye.